So I ended up doing a video on the company Wish. The Wish is a website where you can buy like knockoff stuff, Chinese manufactured, pretty much the lowest of low. And I tried to figure if I could part together a BMX bike just on the website Wish. And in the middle of doing that, I came across a stem that looked really close to what I've seen in the past. Odyssey BMX came out with a stem called the Odyssey Elementary stem. Now this stem that I have up on the screen right now closely resembles it and I did a video kind of showcasing the differences between the two and not just the differences of the dimensions and how they got around the whole patent that Odyssey has, but the weight. The weight was crazy light. I mean, so light that I would never even ride that, let alone the Odyssey Elementary stand back in the day. So after doing that video, it got me thinking, maybe I should log back onto Wish to see what else is available out there. And as soon as I logged on, this product I'm about to show you came recommended. And I was blown away, not only by the price, I mean, obviously it's gonna be cheap because it's Wish, but the fact that why has nobody really brought this to market? I feel like it's a great, a great idea to kind of get around everyday bike locks. Now everyday bike locks could range from a traditional bike lock like right here you see on the screen, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. We're talking even down to the medius of chains that some people run on their electric bikes. Now, this is gonna be probably not a permanent alternative, but if you're on the go and you gotta pop something in your pocket, this will work on all three of the things I have behind me. My BMX bike, an electric scooter, an electric bike, pretty much anything that has a rotor or a way for this mechanism to get on the bike. Let me show you this thing. Now this closely resembles, in my opinion, the old fashioned club, something you would run on your steering wheel. I would always see it in the cities. People would you know, lock them on the steering wheel and they think it'd kind of deter people from stealing their car. But lo and behold, people would just cut the steering wheel and pop it right off. Now, it was a lot easier for them to just replace the steering wheel and also steal the car. I guess the same can be said when putting this on a BMX bike. I'm gonna show you right now how I put it on the BMX bike. And as you see here, I'm putting it on the sprocket because there's really nowhere else I can put this. I can't put this on the chain because my chain is a little too fat, but there are chains that could fit through here to be able to allow you to be able to use this as a quick locking mechanism. So this is the only way I could really figure out how to use it on my BMX bike. And as you see here, it would really stop anyone from bringing like a six millimeter or an eight millimeter Allen key with them, popping off the crank arm, leaving the crank arm there and taking the bike. So it'd be a lot cheaper for them to replace a set of cranks and take the entire bike with them. So this may not be a permanent alternative to be able to use on the BMX bike, but I think this is a great alternative to be able to use on an electric scooter and electric bike. Let me show you how to install it. Now some rotors are gonna have different options here. Now I do notice that this rod can go through the bigger holes that you see here, but the smaller ones it can't. A lot of your rotors aren't gonna have these holes here, but they will have this bigger opening that you see here. This is where most people would just slide it on, put it in there and you're good to go. But I think for that bit of added protection so there's no play, you could find the bigger hole and you're good to go. As you see, we were talking about with the scooter, these holes are a lot smaller than what you saw on the scooter. So you would have to feed it through these bigger open gaps here. I mean, looking at the rod that you see there, you already know that it's bigger than the hole. So you already know that's not gonna fit. Put it on here, push it through, lock it, and you're good to go. So when putting this on the bike, there's really only one place that this can go on when it comes to an electric scooter and an electric bike. You wanna make sure your electric scooter or your electric bike have rotors. Now this is gonna be a great deterrent because the only way you can really get this rotor off of the bike or the scooter is taking the entire wheel mechanism off. Now, what's to say somebody can't just pick up the scooter or the bike and run? Well, most scooters and bikes weigh upwards of 50 to 60 pounds. So they're really not that easy to carry and they're pretty cumbersome. And it wouldn't go unnoticed with somebody just picking up a scooter or a bike and running. And as you see here, this thing has got like a little dead bolt that goes right through. It's like a traditional soda machine style key. Plugs in like that, you push it in, turn, and it releases. And you push it in and turn, and it locks back up. Now by no means am I like endorsing this product as far as like not using a bike lock, but if you're just looking to just pop this in, I mean you could pop it in a front pocket of, of a jacket. Anywhere you go, this could just be a secondary mode, I guess, of of anti-theft when it comes to your scooter or your bike. So if you guys are interested in this, I put the link below if you guys want to pick one up on Wish. Um, this did take like, I want to say like a week and a half, two weeks to come in. Um, so with that being said, it's only like three bucks. You could order up a bunch of them, just toss one in your bag and have that extra bit of security when you're locking up your bike and your scooter. So with that being said, be on the lookout for some more like fun Wish products here on the channel. I'm gonna be putting on the scooter, the BMX, pretty much all my products. I've been looking for a range of products to be able to use from the website 
on these things to be able to see you know what's usable and what's not so with that being said if you guys have any suggestions for future videos put them in the comments below if you guys like this video drop a like if you love it hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next one